Hello there, YouTubians. It's October 9th, which means it's Leif Erikson Day. And yes, that is actually a thing. It was on this day in 1000 AD that the Norse explorer Leif Erikson, also known as Leif the Lucky, landed in America, long before the likes of Columbus or America of Vespucci did. Of course, when I think about Leif Erikson Day, I think back to the opening scene of that episode from SpongeBob SquarePants' Bubble Buddy, where SpongeBob gets out of bed with a Viking beard and helmet and says, Hey everybody, it's Leif Erikson Day! hing a ding a dergen And then rows away. <laughs> so I figured today would be the perfect day to try out what Wendy's has to offer. See, Wendy's and Nickelodeon are doing a collaboration where they're doing something called the Krabby Patty Collab. Like just about everyone in this world, I'm a big fan of Spongebob. And no five months following the 2016 Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards can prove otherwise. So I'm really excited to try the closest thing to a Krabby Patty that we're probably ever going to see. So right now I'm parked outside my local Wendy's and I'm going to pop inside and get it and try it for myself. So hang tight, I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, let me just get my meal tray set up here. The Krabby Patty meal consists of medium fries, a Krabby Patty, and you get the choice of a single, double, or triple. I went with a double. And of course, the pineapple under the sea frosty. This looks scrum delicious. But first, let's go with the item we all came here for. The Krabby Patty, as it's described, has a standard meat patty with American cheese. With, yep, I can see it here. Some lettuce, tomato, and onions, pickles. Here's what it looks like right here. And of course, it does have the secret Krabby Patty sauce. I'm not sure you can tell from the light, but oh, here we are. Hmm. This one, I'm a little hesitant about. Let's get a little taste first. I don't hate it. And of course, don't forget the pickles. Okay. I'm a little nervous. See, this is practically the first real hamburger I've had. Normally with burgers, I usually have cheese and ketchup and that's it. Never really had any with tomatoes or onions. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes or onions. I usually avoid them at all costs. Not exactly too partial about pickles either, so. I mean, even when I get a Baconator here at Wendy's, I usually get it with no mayonnaise, because it just makes it too soggy. But, here we go. You know I like ketchup. It, it's a fine condiment, contrary to popular opinion, enjoyed by just about everyone here in the States, except Chicago, apparently. God forbid you put ketchup on a hot dog, they act like the world's gonna blow up or something. <laughs> um, okay, I'm stalling, sorry. <sighs> All right. to say. Not what I was expecting. In that, I mean, it's surprisingly pretty good. I mean, considering you have the meat and the cheese to kind of blend, blend in with the 
tomatoes and onions and such. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, there you have it. And before we head out, I want to give the Frosty a try. The Pineapple Under the Sea Frosty. Hmm. Standard vanilla base with some kind of dull, like, pineapple syrup or something. They didn't give me a spoon, but luckily I have some utensils stashed away in my car. I don't have a spoon, but I got a fork. That's close enough. Mm. Something sweet and fruity. This is pretty good. And of course, the fries at Wendy's almost never disappoint. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pack... I'm just packing this away so I can go home and finish it. But if you ever get a chance to try the Krabby Patty meal at Wendy's, despite my initial reprehensions, I would recommend it. Well, this is where I'll leave you. Until next time, happy Leaf Erickson Day! You're getting a doo!